Hello, this is Abbott Austin for another edition of Talk Lexio. And for this um, edition of Talk Lexio, we'll do the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 19 through 23. This is a selection from tomorrow's Mass. So uh, tomorrow's Mass is for the second Sunday at Easter. We're finishing up the octave, also known as Divine Mercy uh, Sunday. And there is uh, this first part and then a second part in that Gospel. And the second part is uh, the Doubting Thomas um, uh, incident in the gospel, gospel, but we'll just look at the first part of the gospel. So let's begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we ask you to open our hearts and our minds to understand your scriptures, that we may enter more deeply into the mystery of your Son's rising and the eternal life he offers us through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the, name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So as usual, the first step is to read the passage, read it attentively with faith that God's speaking through this biblical text, and see what strikes you. So again, this is John chapter 20, verses 19 through 23. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side, the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. So I'll read the passage again. Listen to it with faith. Um, what, is, what, do you, what strikes you? What do you notice in this passage? On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Now that we've heard and listened to the uh, Word of God, we now want to enter into meditation to think about it. So here you'd start with what you notice, what struck you in the passage, and ponder it, turn it over, think about it. What is God saying uh, in that? What's the deeper meaning? So I'll offer one meditation here. And it's interesting that, so Jesus, you know, appears to the, uh, after this resurrection, he appears to the apostles, and what does he say? Peace be with you, right? But then he goes on to say, as the Father has sent me, so I send you, right? So it's kind of significant, the first words Jesus will say to his apostles after rising from the dead, right? As the Father has sent me, so I send you, right? These are apostles, uh, the very word apostles from the Greek meaning one who sent, Right, so we see that here. Uh, but by extension, we're also sent, right? As Christians baptized into Christ, baptized therefore into his ministry of salvation, as it were. Uh, so we have a role to play in this work of salvation as members of Christ's body, the church. Right, so we're sent, right? So um, it's an interesting image, right? So if you back up in the Gospel of John, um, it often talks about remain in my love, remain in me, remain in my love. All right, so Jesus uh, gives this great example, shows us how to live a truly fulfilled in a human life, and we're supposed to remain in his love, to live in that same way, to love as he did. All right, so um, this idea of remaining or staying has a certain uh, feel to it or imagery to it, uh, but here now you're going forward, you're going forth, you're sent, right? And so um, it's an interesting kind of juxtaposition. Uh, ultimately, they're both the same. And in fact, if we're going to remain in Christ, we have to actually go forward and be sent by the Father. Right? So uh, going forth, going out, extending ourselves is crucial for remaining in Christ. And how are we to um, go forth and extend ourselves, to be sent by the Father into the world? Um, it talks about the forgiveness of sins. Right, that ministry of the apostles, um, but more broadly to live in the love that Christ has shown us. Right, so to go forth and witness to the um, the love of God, to live that love, and to uh, testify to it in your actions and your words. Right, so 
go forth, right? Uh, we can't be staying still. And if we want to remain or stay in Christ, we have to actually extend ourselves and move forward. And here, what is God asking us to do? The Father has sent us in Christ to do his work in the world. So what are we being asked to do? And to do that, to go forth, not to stay still. So again, uh, this kind of these two images of going forth, being sent, is crucial if we're going to remain in Christ, stay in Christ. So it's a thought we can uh, ponder one meditation. There's many others, of course, in a scripture passage um, that could be had. The third step of Lex Divina is to offer a prayer, a prayer petition, ask, asking the Lord for something from that meditation. So I'll, I'll offer such a prayer now. Lord, I ask you to give me the courage to go forth and to do your work in the world and to extend myself, challenging myself even, with your grace so that I re may remain in you and indeed grow deeper in my relationship with you. And I ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And then the fourth and final step of Lexi Divine is contemplation. Um, as I've said before here, you can think of it as your will is lining up with God's will when you ask for something good in prayer. And so you just kind of rest in that closeness of being close to God and what you desire. So let's not just observe a few moments of quiet in this spirit of contemplation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So thank you for those who joined me and who will watch it later. Uh, a blessed Easter. We're still celebrating the, the Easter celebration of Christ's resurrection for the dead. So happy Easter to you. I know my prayers, and please pray for us here at St. Procopius Abbey. God bless.